Now, the budget committee received a letter. Where's that letter? Uh, last, late last week, I believe most of the letters were received on Friday from town council. Uh, requesting information from the Budget Committee under the Right to Know Law. And the Budget Committee's response is as follows. Dear Board of Selectmen, per RSA 91A colon 4 Roman 4, we the undersigned acknowledge your 91A request dated 12-14-2016. Further, we the undersigned expect pending consultation with legal counsel to be able to determine if your request will be granted or denied by January 20, 2017. And there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight members of the Budget Committee who have signed that request. Uh, I need your approval, first of all, to send this letter, and second, to hire counsel. Let me make a motion, if you would, please, and along this line. Um, I would ask the Budget Committee to instruct its chairman to retain an appropriate lawyer to assist the Budget Committee in legal matters concerning its legal duties and obligations, and to have the lawyer attend the meeting of the Budget Committee to answer questions and gain approval of the hiring of the lawyer. And we have a second. Mr. Marrer is seconding. Okay, you understand the intent. That's all. Make sure that Barbara got that because sometimes you're talking softly there are nine signatures I'm sorry Barbara on the letter okay or do you want to just repeat it because I'll, Barbara just give her the copy of my copy well oh, let me read it first yes uh, I couldn't hear you okay I uh, I'm asking the budget committee in the form of a motion to instruct its chairman to retain an appropriate lawyer to assist the budget committee in legal matters concerning its legal duties and obligations and to have the lawyer attend the meeting of the budget committee to answer questions and gain approval of hiring of the lawyer. Okay. You understand the intent? Are you all set, Barbara? We'll wait a minute until you get that. I'll give you a printed copy. Yeah, we'll give you, a copy. you can have this copy. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to need a copy, Regina, of this, which has the signatures of the Budget Committee on it, and I'm not near a copier, so before you leave, if you would make a copy for us, then you can keep this copy to pass on to Attorney Gerald or the, and the board. So I can make a copy, yes? Yes, okay, because we'll need a copy for our files. So you won't... You won't you won't satisfy our 91A request? No, no, that does satisfy it. Okay. According to 91A, we have the choice of three. We can either accept, you know, give the uh, requested uh, documents or deny the request, or three, yes. provide a date by which we will either accept or deny. And that's the third choice that we've chosen there. Okay. All right. Okay, and Barbara's going to need a copy of this as well, so if you'll make a couple of copies before we leave. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you pass that down to Regina? Madam Chair? And in favor, yes, sir. For the record, the precinct had already responded to the 91A request. That's all, that's all right. Yeah, I'm just putting it on the record. Yeah, that's okay. But we just want to make sure that we are uh, adequately represented. Okay, in favor of the motion made by... Me. Wait a minute. First, we had the motion to accept the letter that Regina has. No, we didn't. We just had a motion to hire a lawyer. We don't need an acceptance. People's need... signatures on it is sufficient. Okay. Each of them are responding right. as individuals. So Mr. Pierce's motion, which was seconded by? Mr. Morrow. Mr. Morrow. Morrow. Yeah. Okay. You understand the intent. In favor? Brian, what you doing? We haven't got to that part yet. Are you in favor? No. No. Okay. Well, let's see what. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And wait a minute, because Barbara has to get your, your hands. Okay. Abstaining? Danielle. Ginny, what are you doing, ma'am? I'm opposed. Okay. And ever, anyone else opposed? I'm opposed. Mr. Mm -hmm. Ladd? 
Three. Mrs. Burns. And I'm a board. Okay. And Mr. Lapp. Okay. That takes care of that. Now we can do some work. I do have one question. Yes, sir. You made a comment just a few minutes ago that we decided on the date. Brian. Who is we that decided on the date? What date? Uh, you will report this or send it to. That's just the way you worded it. You I'm said sorry. we decided on a date, and I wanted to know who we were. I'm not, I don't remember exactly how I phrased it, but if you say it. What I said was we had five days to respond to the Selectman's 91A request. Right. Yep. And tomorrow is the fifth day. Okay. So we have to respond before tomorrow when we're not meeting tomorrow. So this yep. is the time we're meeting. So that's when we brought the um, our response to the board. Perfect explanation. That's okay. what I was just curious. Sorry about that. I might not have phrased that properly, <laughs> but you always make sure I say things right. <laughs> Point of information, Mary yes, Louise. Yes. Who pays for the town attorney? We have legal. Who pays for the town attorney? Uh, the public. Who pays for the lawyer for the budget committee? The public budget committee out of the budget committee's budget. And who pays for the budget committee's budget? Taxpayers. Okay, so the taxpayers are going to get billed to the selectmen. You are quite correct. Okay, thank you. You are correct. It's taking a bite out of both pockets. Or and the only one that loses is the taxpayer. I agree with you. Okay. I agree. Okay. But if people are going to take us to task, I think we deserve a chance to respond because we are representatives of the <coughs> as well. Wait a minute. May I make a comment? Yes, sir, you may. There is no litigation pending. We are not in battle with each other. Okay? You are both seeking legal opinions, which are both going to cost the taxpayer money mm -hmm. to Lawyer, unless you have a lawyer that doesn't work, that does pro bono, that would be wonderful. But I haven't met one yet that works for the town pro bono. I already May got I this money because of the certified letters. Exactly. May I continue, please? Go ahead. Mike's motion was to hire a lawyer to advise the budget committee on its legal obligations and duties. Okay? It is incumbent upon the budget committee to conform with its legal obligations and duties. There appears to be confusion, if not unanimity, in terms of what those duties and obligations are. Right? And it is in the public's best interest that the budget committee conform to its legal obligations and duties. So this action is an, is, is an attempt to go further down the road in fulfilling our legal obligations and duties. I did not interpret Mr. Pierce's motion as, as a adversary in any way at all. Now we've had consultation in prior meetings with uh, town council, with NHMA council, all right, and noise had been coming out of other bodies that would suggest their words were different than what is actually recorded on video, which has given growth to confusion. And it does the public ill to have its budget committee or the board of selectmen confused. So we seek to clarify that confusion. That's how I interpret Mr. Pierce's motion. There is no litigation. There's no advers adversarial posture being taken, as far as I'm concerned. And we will look forward to being informed or advised or Correct. whatever is the appropriate term. Okay. I have a comment. Hasn't town council already advised you? Yes. Um, May I respond to that, Madam Chair? Please. Town council has, respond, has, has advised us. Uh, on, uh, uh, I think it was November 5th of 2015, last year. And his words spoken uh, at the Board of Selectmen's meeting were somewhat at odds with the words he spoke here at the Budget Committee. In video of both meetings, uh, I've analyzed them. There's inconsistency and confusion. It is clear that the, the Board of Selectmen's attorney, Gerald, is representing the Board of Selectmen and their interests. That's perfectly understandable. He is their client, or rather they are his client. We need an attorney so that we can have an understanding that is clear and is looking at the law from the budget committee's point of view, not simply adopting whatever the Board of Selectmen's point of view via its lawyer would have us believe. 
Yeah. Well, I don't understand. There was sub several members that didn't have a problem. Just, I mean, I send all my emails. I mean, what what is there to hide? That's what I don't get. To but me, was, this is just a I way. I, excuse me. Yeah. I didn't suggest there was anything to hide. Yeah. Well, then I don't. Know Where is the suggestion there was anything to hide? Because that. every single email goes to every single member of this board, which okay, is an so illegal therefore you, meeting. Therefore, you're all happy. And then on top of that, we have people responding. That is a meeting. That's speculative. That is a meeting that, that is, is not speculative. the public does not have. You're, you're, you're it's not speculative. I've witnessed it on my email. You're introducing facts that are not in evidence, madam. Oh, really? I have it in my email that so I have like quoted. To, I'd like to see an email that it was sent out by anybody on this committee that was responding. Okay, to like I got to see one. All of it. Show it to us. Show well, it to if us. I get onto it right now, I will. I want a hard copy. All right, I'll print it out tomorrow, <laughs> okay, and that. I will send it. I have there it. is no I have reason it. whatsoever for us to become yeah. adversarial over this. We, at least I, have in complete confidence that I am going to completely comport with 91A and all other laws of the state of New Hampshire. That is an absolute. I will not bend on that. All right? Well, we're going to do it from my point of view, I'm going to do it absolutely correctly, according to the letter of the law. And I need a lawyer to do that. If I have to hire one on my own, I will. The Budget Committee has a budget line for it. Sure. The Budget Committee as a whole wishes to do that. I think that's highly appropriate. I support that. We can act as, a, as one committee. We should act as one committee, not as a bunch of individuals running around pretending to represent the committee. Yeah. Let me make this. Let me really? make this. Really? Yeah. May I speak? Yeah. May you I make I this represent, recommendation? I represent the town. That's not. Okay. Well, you represent the board of selectmen. You, you are the board of selectmen's town. representative. That's a fact. Yeah. That's what you're here for, to be the representative of the selectmen. Okay, you're Mr. not. Kravitz you has are the not floor. anything to do with the public. Sorry. I got part of the. Excuse not, me. Not you don't have. You don't know anything that I have to do with. All right. Regina. Regina, let me, that's Let enough. me say something. All right. Mr. Kravitz Go ahead, Sonny. has the floor. Okay. We don't want to cost the taxpayers any more money. The town council has a budget line for outside attorneys. We will use that and deduct it from his That's line right. for outside council. We're, he's <clears throat> representing the board of selectmen in this, right? He brought the action. We'll use an outside council and we'll use his budget line to pay for it. Sonny, we have a line out no, of We, we have, have a line, have a line, line also, line. Yeah. but okay. it depends on how acrimonious it gets. Okay, now, we've got to get through these articles tonight. We have only two more meetings before the public hearing, first week in January. <clears throat> yeah, let's get some real work done. Let us get some work.